While it may be shocking to see turtles seemingly lifeless beneath the ice, they're actually just brewmating, which is a survival strategy they use to survive the harsh winter months and the extreme cold. When temperatures start to drop, snapping turtles head for the water and enter a state of brumation, a slowed state of activity for cold-blooded animals where they eat less but don't fully sleep. Their body temperature is dependent upon external temperature, so as that external temperature cools, thereby their metabolism really slows down to next to nothing. And at that point, the oxygen demands are extremely low. That doesn't mean that they just stop breathing, per se, but they breathe in a different way. They're able to breathe by moving water across their bodies and extracting the oxygen from it, a process called cloacal respiration. In other words, they breathe through their backsides. And they go underwater versus staying on land because water temps remain relatively stable throughout the winter. You might have a layer of ice on top of the pond, but the water below is not frozen, uh, thereby it's not freezing. But location matters, as it can be risky for the turtles that choose to brumate in shallow waters. If it's real shallow, the ice thickness could get to the point of freezing nearly or all the way to the bottom. So obviously, if a turtle is in that area, like I said, do they have the ability to move? Probably not much. If you do come across a turtle, just leave it be, and they'll start to fully wake up when the days get longer and temperatures start to warm. In Cedar Rapids, meteorologist Grayson Freund, Iowa's News Now.